Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Outlast. This is part five? I think. I think this is part five. We just made it to the mail ward, I believe. Like, we, we had a journey through the sewers. And now... Ugh, we're here. It's been a fun time, let me tell you. Okay, that doesn't look good. Sir, why are you bleeding? Sir? No, like... Why are you bleeding, though? You don't have any cuts or anything on you. That's just strange. Oh, well. Maybe those kinds of people just bleed. Maybe there's just blood on the floor. Finger first, then balls, then tongue. Oh, is this where those two... Uh, the, the guy who wanted my liver and tongue? Is this where they're... F oh, I see footsteps. What was the comment he made? Organized torture. The harder I try to escape, the further I get into this god-awful place. Like fighting a tar pit. They've been torturing people in the basement and by method... Writing on the wall, fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Somebody managing the torture, instructing. Somebody's managing the torture, instructing them. I'd imagine it's probably the priest. Hello? Anyone down here? Dare I ask? Oh, nothing in there. I don't like the music. Sir? There a reason this is here? Do I really want to push this forward? <laughs> I guess that's the real question here. Found another camera. You know, this is probably going to be regrettable, but, you know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hello? No one home. No one home at all. What about the other way? Wasn't I supposed to go the other way? Apparently I'm very confused on what is obvious and what is not obviously the right way. Yep, because I didn't explore it, I had no idea. Alright, so we need to go this way. That was my bad. Alright, well we'll start by trying to go this way. You work? Nope. You work? Nope. How about this way? Hello? Nope. We'll go down here then. Dare I go in here? Ugh. Too alive, too alive, too alive. Can't get behind the curtains or anything. Oop, found a battery. I hear breathing and it's a little disarming. Disalarming, excuse me. It's alarming. Ugh. I'll pick up this document. J. Rick Chagger, patient status report. This patient also unfortunately didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. And I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, somebody's got to cut the fat from these project wall writers. Cut, cut the fat from this project wall writer disaster. We have been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid. But I've managed to slim back personnel by more than 80 people. Which means short-term savings in salary and long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. 
And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. Okay. <laughs> so Rick Tagger, Trager, excuse me. He sounds like a fucked up guy. It's gotta be said. And I get the feeling I really don't want to see what's beyond these curtains. I'm gonna guess I can't go in here either. Yeah, I didn't think so. You okay, dude? You don't look okay. Now I'm gonna do what's obvious. It's one of, it wants us to go up here. About this way. This way? I mean, I thought it was obvious anyway. Hoop. 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 Okay. Oh, there we go. Gotta reload my batteries, excuse me. Hoop. So. I'll go this way, I guess. I like the sound of this. Whoa. Whoa, hello. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm hella out of here. Yep. Bye bye. This is the experiment. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oop. Jeez, at least this gives me a minute to sit and think. Jesus Christ. Where did they even come from? Alright, so obviously I'm gonna have to move whatever the hell it was out of my way. Alright, well, ugh, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to move this out of my way. But I, they're not gonna give me a chance to. Oh! Well, there goes my insides. Hmm. Hmm, 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 This is what it wanted me to do. I just wasn't quick enough last time. There we go. Hoop. Come on. Oh, no thank you. Up we go. What the hell is going on in here? Doesn't matter now. Up we go. This way. Oop. 
what is Wall Rider? Why does it want them to kill me? Alright, I didn't think so. <laughs> Worth the shot, though. Yep. Oh. Did I die? Yeah, I'm gonna guess I did. Although it did say saving, so that's concerning. Um. Wait. Oh. You can't hide! I don't know if I survived or if I didn't. I guess I did. Like it saved in just enough time to throw me into the next area. I, I kind of want to try and get into the dumb waiter. Oh, jeez. Goodbye. Oh! Who the hell are you? Hey, you're the bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. Huh? Let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch. Hmm? Have a little confab. Blah, blah. Who are you? Are you? Luck. A little car you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go. Arms and legs inside a car at all times. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Is this the doctor? That, uh, Brian Trander? Something? Or Dr. Wiernick? Is he the dead guy who's who's been doing stuff to people's? Why am I strapped to this chair? I don't like this. I'm a normal person. You seem... You know, I love the mountain air up here. No! You, you want to head out and take a Yes. Seat? Yes. Go ahead. I'll wait here. Go on. Run free. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. I, Those to the grindstone. I like that. I'm, okay, then. I'm, I'm strapped to a chair. By all means. I, 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 I like going there. Please take me the... You're a jerk, you know that? But at least you have hair. The other ones didn't have hair. You know, you didn't even get me a chance to talk. Can I not talk? What? What's wrong with me here? Am I a mute? I did shake my head. I'll have you know. Ooh. Putting that tongue to any use anyway. Oh, yep. This is guy. He told he's fucked. He's just trying to look at my own stairs. Here we are then. And what are we doing Thanks in so here? Thanks for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh movie. And it'll give us a chance to talk. You're not wearing pants. I don't like what I'm seeing here, but I'm not you just talking about your butt cheeks. How much time you've been spending with Father Martin? I, I know. I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just uh, be I... a little bit crazy. More crazier it's than your knife wielding? People get scared. There's like the turn of God is anything else. And God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete thing now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Uh... Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. Oh! Ah! You paying attention? Go pass that on me. There's so lots for you to absorb. My, my fingers, they, they are in pain. There. You're better, right? 
Here's the same way it's used to. We made the consumer to the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself! What are you trying to sell? All I know is my fingers are gone now. Or at least two of them. Oh, oh, I'm shaking. I need out of these restraints. Fuck that shit. Gross. I want out of here. What? I'm not a patient. I'm an executive, just like him. Like Traeger. So is that Traeger then? He's still alive. Still the Cernicke's nightmares. His name's Wernicke's. Oh, well. They can control it. And you can't control it. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody! He'll fight you. He'll kill you. He's coming now. Oh, boo -boo. Oh, boo -boo. oh, boo -boo. Sorry, Trigger. I, uh... Can't, can't stay with you right now. Kind of have to go. Needs a key. Oh, wasn't expecting that one. How can it need a key? What kind of elevator needs a key? Key boy. Of course, the stairs wouldn't be open either. Hello? Shut up. I need a key, but where is this key? Where'd Traeger go? Um, well shit, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This is the room I was in. Hello? This way? Nope, not that way. None of those ways worked. Oh! There's a vent. I don't like the look of this vent, but, you know. You win some, you lose some. Sucks my fingers are gone. Just making sure. No such luck. I just want to go upstairs. Okay. Okay, Doc. Oh, buddy. Oh, he found me. Can't get me up here. Somebody has to lose here. I don't make the rules. 
Sorry to hear that you hey, don't make the rules. Nobody likes a quitter. I didn't quit. I'm hiding. There's a difference. Oh boy. Oop. Hello, dude. Oh, that didn't work. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Oh, that didn't work. I don't know how he didn't see me, but I'm okay with it. Is this where I need to go? He, come on. Closer, and what in the world is a closer? Think he's gone? Oh, that didn't work. I'm completely lost in all honesty. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going. Supposed to be finding a key, I would assume. Right? Reach the ground floor of the mail ward is still my only objective. Say, he can't chase me up into the, the vent system, can he? Because if so, now I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, a file. This is my third time asking for a reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I have been an orderly my entire adult life, but I have never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. And I even suspect, I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign, and may very well consider contacting the press. Thank you for your time, David Annapurna. Interesting. So not even all the doctors working here were aware of what was going on. Is that the key? Is that the key I'm looking for? 
Aha, key to the elevator. Hello. Not here. Not exactly sure how to even get out of here. Maybe I have to come out of the way that he just created? I don't even hear him. Goodbye. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? This way? Guess so. No. Don't think this is the right way. I think I wanted to take a left instead of coming this way. I think I wanted to go this way. Did I? Let's try going this way. No, this is definitely the way I wanted to go. To the elevator. Okay, okay. Jesus. I'm not giving up on you. Oh, don't even. Whoa! I thought you were going to come through the roof of it. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. I get the feeling somehow he's still going to be alive. You know, this does screw up my whole plan of getting upstairs, you jerk. Yeah, of course. Death of Traeger. How to make Traeger juice. Step one, squeeze. <laughs> Rude. He is definitely dead, though. Locked. That's one threat gone, at least. Although, like I said, I doubt he's actually dead. I get the feeling he's still very much alive. Because if it's anything like Wernick, Wernick was apparently dead before he got here. Assuming that the insane people were right. I don't know why I want to keep going down, but we're going to check downstairs anyway. Yep, locked. We got a battery. Nothing over there. We'll look over here real quick. Anything else interesting? Teamwork! Team Player Award, Patrick Patrina. Employee of Murkoff Corp, who best exemplifies the team concepts. <laughs> Let's murder and torture. Hello, anyone home? Why do I get the feeling this is where I'm supposed to be going and that if I explored upstairs I would have gotten more information? I don't know. It always seems like a... Doctor? secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Find Father Martin outside. So should I go back and see if maybe there was something interesting upstairs? I guess that's the real question. So we need to go outside. There, there is probably like no possible way to go up there, so... Nice. 
Any one of the stalls? Nope. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Alright, out we go then. Go ahead and recharge my battery. Father Thomas Weiler. You definitely have a eye problem. You look like a Wendigo. He was turning into a Wendigo. I know this from my, my clear experience playing Until Dawn. Hello? Hello? Not seen King Hippo in a while. Do I need to go up there? Do I want to go up there? The place seems to be on fire. There's a lot of smoke everywhere. Oop, battery. Nothing else in here? Yep, place is definitely on fire. I don't know if this was, uh, Traeger's doing, or... Where do I know Traeger from? See the bad guy in Doom 3? Dr. Traeger. I'm in a burning building. Gotta say, when I, uh, got to Mount Asylum, Mount Massive Asylum. Murkoff took so much from us, used us, turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. You want to live, you can get out through the kitchen. Oh, turn on the sprinkler system to extinguish the fire. I mean, to be honest, like, if, if he just wants to burn it down, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. I'll just get out through the kitchen. Although... Oh, wait, yeah, I'd have to kind of turn on the sprinkler system in order to get out through the kitchen. Too much fire everywhere. Oop. Gotta say, this was not in my, uh to-do list whenever I made it to Mount Massive Asylum. I was sitting here like, yeah, I'm gonna find the, the wrong doings of Murkoff Corp. But no. I got fires, the wrong doings of Murkoff Corp. My life, I've lost two fingers. It's just been a rough day. A really, really rough day. <laughs> Anyone home? Anything useful? No kind of documents or files, nothing. Oh, there we go. Boink. If you're seeing this, say something. There's no shame in psycho psychopathological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from Murkoff Success Counselor. Okay. Oh, that guy was just a regular employee. Like, look at his face. It's not fucked up or anything. Alright. Let's check out this way, then. I'd also like to point out, how's the priest getting around? Father Murka... Murna... Marvin... Mer Marin... Can't remember his name. <laughs> Let it burn. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watch a man wait to burn to death, the most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place. That's true. Doctor is dead. Can't remember. I don't think we actually have... We have a document about... Father Martin. His, his name is Martin. Let's try this way. Sprinkler system? There is no water in the system. You first turn on... Ah, uh, two valves again. Got it. This is a repeating. Germain Dallier. Father Nicholson. 
I believe that's actually what that was. Cafeteria laundry baths. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good thing. I was about to say, is that King Hippo? I didn't think it was, but... I'm also not hiding, apparently. I don't even know. Is he just still sitting there at the corner? No. He... You buggered off. You know, I I kind of have to get around you. King Hippo. I really need to get around you. How do I get around his ass? Oop. Can't get me when I'm here. Haha. -ha. Fight me, Helen. Oh, don't, oh, don't go back in there. I really need to get around you, King Hippo. Without you ripping me in half, preferably. Bye. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I could be slick and just like give him the good old slip, but nope. I gotta find where this valve is. I'm not back here. Definitely not back here. No clue what you're going on about. No one home. Can't believe that works. Like, I figured in order to hide, I really would have to hide. But, really, you could just keep running around the area. Hi, and I did find one of the valves. Alright, goodbye you. can't hide in there. I assume if I just went straight up and hid in that, I would definitely be, be murdered. So I'm gonna run back here. He's definitely gonna come back here, I know that much. But he'll probably run into that room in which I'll be able to sneak past him and get out. Come on, I know you're gonna come back here. I see you over there. In fact, I think you actually just left. It's kind of rude, you didn't even come to check out. It's kind of mean. I went through all that effort guessing what you would do, and instead you just left. Goodbye, sir. I'm gonna check out this way. This looks like a dead end. Yeah, this is definitely not the way I needed to go. Okay, where to then?
path. Oh, this doesn't look good. But I suppose a bathroom is another place where they would keep. Hush on. You have your turn. I appreciate it. Yep, here's the other sprinkler. Ah! I don't trust this, but, you know. No complaining now. We have to wash every little part. Now I have to remember just where I came from, to be honest. I think it was somewhere to the right. Yeah. I expected him to be there, in all honesty. I think I came from this way. And then I need to take a left. Oh! I need to pull this. Ah! It soaked the achievement. I'm a fan. Alright, so now that the sprinkler system on is on, first off, it's a shame my camera's getting wet. Second off, the fire's out. Oh, hello. I'm sorry I turned off your sprinkler. Or turned on the sprinkler. Chill. It wasn't anything to attack me over, jeez. Kitchen isn't anything special. In fact, why did the sprinkler only affect everything except the kitchen? It didn't do anything for this kitchen. Anything in there? Nope. Okay. Like, this is the one room you'd probably want a sprinkler in because this is the one room that would actually cause a fire. Just saying. Nope. Gotcha. Alright, Father Martin. I know you're outside, but where? How do I get- Oh! Oh! There's a document right there. First off, the last time I saw that, that area, it looked a lot more promising. Alright, journal. Two, file... General problem. For the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to a certain... Uh, ascertain by research, study, instructions, and practice what value, if any, can be derived from SI, sleep induction, and H, hypnotic techniques when applied to war and sp specific agency problems. Three, can we create by post H control and action contrary to an individual's basic morale principles? Seven, can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Eight, can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? Seventeen, what are full details on a sleep-inducing machine? And I'd like to point out how we definitely don't have one, five, nine experts. We don't have two, one, two, three, four, five, six, or nine through sixteen. Well, geez. I think this might be a good place to call it. I think I've gone a little bit long, to be honest. But, um, we did manage to, I think, get out of the ward, and now we're in a, we made it outside. So that's always good. Look for Father Martin. Yeah, so, we just got a new objective. We managed to make it outside, although it is dark as shit. So, it'll be interesting to see see where this goes. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode where we will be journeying around outside. So, see you all then.